Welcome to Riga, Latvia. Do I hear Americans? I hear yes. Americans. Yes. Oh, we got Americans in the house. Where are you guys from? Uh, Michiganders. This ain't Miami. Tickets for the train. Hi, I'm Seattle. How about everybody? How are you? In Latvia. Oh, okay. That's all you know how to say in Latvian, huh? I just remember. Okay. She knows 86 languages, but she doesn't know Latvian, <laughs> the country that she grew up in. To Miami International Airport. We'll see you at the airport. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. How are oh, you? I'm sorry. Hi. No, don't be sorry. We always like people in the video. Who do we got? I'm Kathy. Nice Hi, Kathy. You. Nice Hi. to meet you. Yeah. So, if you don't mind, we'll no, put this I'm on. I'm happy there. that you came to the tri rail to take your trip and not on the bright line. Put your bag here yeah. and it pulls you right into Miami Airport. Have you, you done it before? Is that where you're always. going? No, I'm going to Fort Lauderdale this time, but okay. I go to Miami all the time. Awesome. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, safe travels. Thank you. Thank you. So come and visit Kathy at her salon called? 111. 111. That's yes. easy to remember. Hi, this is 111 Salon. I'm Kathy. I'm the owner of 111 Salon. So, Power ladies. Come see Kathy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, baby, this is our stop. You know what? That wasn't bad. Smile, baby. You're on vacation. Starting today. Starting today, yes. There's a martini with your name on it. Glass of wine, baby. Cup of coffee. Yeah. Don't forget the salad. Concourse F. This way. I don't see anybody there, though. By the way, did I show you my Latvia hat yet? We have a lot of time to kill because it's like that time. Note to self, don't ever travel on a Saturday. It's the worst day, but... Little update, the flight has been delayed by about an hour. We've got so much time to kill, it's not even funny. I've already been killing two hours, we've got like another almost three hours. Thanks, buddy. Viva Cuba! Best airport food you could ever eat. Cheers! Onward and upward, hopefully soon in an airplane. As you can see, it's daylight at those windows. Um, I think maybe I got an hour of sleep. There we are. Let's see what it is. Is that ravioli? Looks like ravioli. We're not going to Italy, are we? in Denmark, but it's not us. See, we're getting ready to land. And we gotta go from here to there. Wasn't too bad, huh, baby? See Got a little crowded in here. I feel like I'm on the D train. So I guess, uh, we're gonna board this thing right on the tarmac. That's no 787. It's an Embraer 175. Oh, I see, baby, your suitcase. You see it? Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Good shit. 70. Hey, hey, how are you? The yes, you mine. Mine too. Okay. You see him? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? Hey, how are
family to me. That's a nice airport. Certainly not as busy as Warsaw was. And definitely not as busy as Miami was. That's for sure. Looks like a fun little bar. Mamichka? Where are you, Mamichka? They're not here yet? Uh, Is this where they're meeting us? Yeah, no. Hey! There they are! There they are, ladies and gentlemen! Mamichka and Andre! What's up, buddy? How are you? Nice to see you! Mama! How are you, Mama? Oh, good to see you. We made it. We made it. So, um, Svetlana's nephew, and of course her mom. And we're here. We're all here. So. And her friend, Irina. Oh, look at this. Oh, we get a nice welcome. Hi, Irina. I'm Terry. Ciao. Nice to meet you. Oh, my new traveling buddy. Right? Oh! Elena, right? Yes. Hi, I'm Terry. How are you? Nice to meet you. And who's this little guy? This is Denny. Denny? Denny. Denny, what's up? We have a restaurant. Oh, we have a restaurant named after you in Florida. All right, guys, those are the introductions. We're here. We made it. Signing off. Let's go have an adventure. Okay. We got, we're able to get those two big suitcases in there. Job under it. St. Peter or something? Yes, St. Peter. St. Peter. That's where we're staying right there. And you got this church here. The only problem is with the scooter is these cobblestones, man. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you get the shakes. All right, we're up this street, guys. So from what she was telling me, we're on the fourth floor and there's no elevator and we have all this stuff so this should be interesting the location you can't beat this location right beautiful place yes. great location <laughs> okay. oh look at that we're in <laughs> one floor at a time just go a little at a time that's all four flights is dead well after 12 hours of flight Next time, elevator. That's 
only three. Oh. Oh. I hope the view is worth it. Oh. You okay, Mama? Sweet home. You can open the doors here. Uh, can you right. see any other? Uh, just, uh, wow. Woo. Look at this place, guys. And what a view of the old town. Yeah, look at that, guys. church another church over there see they have uh the weather vanes on the top that's kind of a thing here yeah you got a tv got a little work area what is this a lamp a radio i have no idea what that is <laughs> a speaker maybe maybe yes baby can uh, you open up how you get the lights to go on oh that was the life for here. Oh, we got a bathtub. Pretty big one too. Ah, oh, it's a bedroom. And you can hear the live music being played down there at one of these places. Of course it's better than a hotel. It's got our name right on it. So guys, it's uh, just after 8 p.m. I almost said Eastern Standard Time. No, this is anything but that. This is Latvian time. And here we are in Riga, in the old town. And you can see all these cobble streets that are here that abound to give it that old town feel. And uh, this is a church. So our Airbnb is right there. And um, you got this coffee restaurant here. Um, actually on the other side there's another Latvian restaurant but here is this St. Peter Church literally footsteps from where we're standing so let's go in no video recording okay I tell you guys what there's, there's just a buzz here there's um, a liveliness about this old town here. It's um, not even, you know, it's a Sunday night, and there's quite a few people that are out enjoying all that this town has to offer. And I'll tell you what, this is a, this is a great walking town. You just look at um, all the incredible architecture that's here, in addition to some great eateries. This is a really good foodie town that you guys will. Uh, See, by the time I'm done with this place. Yeah, check this place out real quick. Anybody in the booth for some Grilletta Lassa Faleja? Do you even know where you're going, baby? The search for the supermarket. I think people are very smiley and friendly here. I noticed that. Black Magic Balsams. Latest place. Man, this place is really happening. Oh, I got the uh, fire warmers here park over there. We got some live music here. Very cool. We got we got to go this way to the supermarket. You know all the shortcuts, huh, baby? It's a supermarket hall with Svet Vlogger in her hometown. Svet Vlogger goes home. The return of Svet Vlogger.
they both work. I missed it. They're having fun. Everybody looks so friendly here. I'm gonna test that theory too. I'm gonna test out saying hello to people and see if anyone tells me to get that camera out of their face. Let's see if it happens. I bet it doesn't happen once here in Latvia. All you gotta do is walk around five minutes in Fort Lauderdale. It'll happen three times. Do I hear Americans? I hear yes, Americans. Yes, yes. Oh, we got Americans in the house. Where are you guys from? Michigan. Uh, Michigan. Michiganders. Oh, uh, cool. First time in Latvia? Uh, second. Yes. My fourth time. Really? Wow, yeah. man, you guys are the pros. I got to ask the Michiganders where I got to go here. Awesome. Oh, where well, are you from? I'm, I'm, well, I'm originally from New York, but I live in Miami oh, now. Okay, and nice. this is going to be on my YouTube, the Barefoot Vlogger. So say hello to everyone. Yeah. Do you guys make it down to, uh, you probably go down to Fort Lauderdale for spring break now? Or are you a little past that? A little past that stage? Other than Key West, one time. The furthest I've been was Pensacola. Oh, okay. What's it called? It's called Barefoot Vlogger on YouTube. Yeah, that's true. Sub me, sub me. Let's see, find me. Um, stay in touch, have fun. Before you go, one thing you guys want to accomplish before you leave. And it's okay if it has to do with women. <laughs> He's trying to find a wife. Ah, well, you know what? You came to the right place. Hey, proof positive right here. Take care, guys. Have fun. Oh, they got Burger King, too. What do they call the Whopper? I don't know. I didn't go on a bird or two. Oh, I remember this on the video. We watch. Remember? I said to you what happens when it snows. I'll bet it just sits up there. They probably have melters. I don't know. This is cool. So this is like an indoor outdoor mall here. Very cool. Kind of like a atrium style. Wow, nice. Okay. Ooh, smoked salmon. Three ninety nine a pound. That's not bad. I'll tell you what, guys. Riga is a foodie heaven. It is a foodie lovers paradise. The restaurants that they have here, many of them, the chefs are artisans. I mean, they really. Um, bring not only a lot of interesting flavors to the food, but also the way the creations look are just incredible. So we're going to check some of those places out. Uh, this is their version of Publix, I guess. They got the ready-made sushi here. What in the world is this? Manny Gardumi. That'll be a hard pass for me. It's probably delicious, though. Goulash. Ooh, that looks good. Hey, goulash. Yeah. Goldschmidt. Looks like some kind of cheese encased in a grape leaf. Love me some cheese. Any free samples? Oh, of course you have to have your delectable sweets. Like the way they have this stuff set up in drawers and you just pull it open and take what you want. I don't know what they are, but I'm gonna try them. They look, it's like deep fried french fries and they got a picture of garlic on it. So, you know what those are? I don't know, but I'm gonna get them. They look amazing. Oh, it's a uh, brown bread, garlic brown bread. Yeah, it's bread. Oh, that's bread? Yeah, it's bread. It's, all right, it's not french fries, it's bread. But we like them both. All right, let's get back. Oh, they got the whole package. Wow, look at this stuff. Yeah, that, that looks really cool. You won't find that at Publix. And, and guys, this isn't even, this is just a little supermarket here. What are those smelts? Well, 
Taliban. She found something Latvian that they don't have in America that she's going to get for breakfast. All right, what is it? All right, Latvian beer. I gotta get one. This looks pretty good. Pills, you know what the word pills means? Castle. I just found that out. All right. Sesu Premium Bohemian Beer. Let's give it a try, shall we? So big difference between America and other countries. You come to the supermarket and you can buy liquor. Like the hard stuff. Balsam is uh, what they're known for here in Latvia. Here it is. This is it. Riga Black Balsam. Should I get the black balsam, baby? Should I get it? Yeah, it takes more. Oh, the black I currant. Take so. Big one. It takes oh, okay. One. It's strong. So, you guys know that um, I was way under the weather for a long time, and from what I hear, this is the magic elixir. This stuff can really get you better in a hurry. So, that's what they say. In fact, um, I think it was Queen Catherine that used to swear by this stuff and said that um, it'll cure whatever ails you. So, let's pick some of this up and I'll tell you more about it when we try it out. It's 45% alcohol by volume. It's pretty powerful stuff, guys. And it is derived from the balsam tree and um, comes in a pretty good looking bottle, but you could see how dark that is. They sell about 2 million bottles of this stuff annually here. And um, it's, it's something that just about anyone who comes to Lafayette to visit will uh, usually at least try a shot of. Let's go. Welcome to Latvia. Here goes nothing. Cheers. Onward and upward. <laughs> wow. Well, it's interesting that they say that it has healing medicinal properties because I'll tell you guys right now, um, it kind of tastes a little bit medicine-y. And when I say that, I mean uh, sort of absinthe, um, just it's powerful it's powerful it's uh it's got sort of a menthol uh type of uh feeling in your mouth and also uh kind of uh heavy coffee almost taste which makes sense because i do believe that that is one of the ingredients in this um and they do have various flavors too like black currant um this is the traditional I wanted to go with, you know, what they're known for. So this is the traditional um, Latvian old recipe of black balsam. Cheers, onward and upward. I hope this cures me. Monday early evening and what you're seeing here happens pretty much every night just imagine Friday and Saturday nights life is all about the experiences go out and get your one next time on the barefoot vlogger But look at these buildings, guys. Look at this architecture. And, you know, it's almost got like that castle top to it on the corners and uh, the old glass block and these uh, brick arches. 
Oh, Latvian pigeons. Can you tell me what that one is called? The one with the two patties that's like a Big Mac? These little, these little alleys here. Look at this, guys. Oh, is that like an abandoned house back there? Long story short, we're gonna have to get another hotel. These incredible structures, there's four of them. One, two, three, four. These used to be Zeppelin hangars. That's right. Wow. Look at that. What's in that? Ooh, it's hot. Nice. Thank you. It's hot. Big yeah. and delicious. Hey, I can't wait. Thank you. And they better yet. What's your what's your best beer? Come on, baby, fix it, fix it. Oh man. And I love the glass. Who is this on the uh on the glass? Well be it. This is a ancient big and more. Really? Night here, staring you right in the face. You said it was interesting? It's the most interesting beer I ever tasted in my life. Oh, that looks amazing. It's right here. It's right there. Hold on. I gotta go in there. I gotta show them. Where? It's called Silkies Undilets. So cool. Look at this Soviet style sink, guys. Does it still work? Yes, it does. Can I pick it up? Yeah, yeah. Hello, steam room. All the frying is ready. It's, it's like homemade lunch. So he made it in his basement. He made it in his basement. No, I'm just kidding. What is it called? Moonshine. <laughs> Case back there. Here's all the bottles of vodka. I want. Okay. Remember that? The Prince Spaghetti commercial? 